Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your oh, weekly singles love reading. Oops, wrong deck. Your weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? Hope all's well. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? There we go. So, I don't know, this one came out first. Ooh, you have a new beginning here. Looks like you have an emperor coming in. I see a new beginning. So someone fair, very balanced. I see harmony. Beautiful. So somebody coming in just right. <laughs> Solid, reliable, planting the seed. So it's an energy of somebody who follows through. Okay. Could be a commitment for some of you, especially with justice being there. So Capricorn, what is it you need to know? Yeah, three of wands. Something you maybe been waiting for, manifesting your dreams. Very nice. I see better times ahead. So it looks like, you know, just things calming down. Some of you may have been waiting for someone. Maybe the ship has sailed. You're maybe taking another opportunity. But there's better times ahead. So I see taking lessons learned here, moving forward calmly and peacefully. It's an energy of planting the seed, committing. You know, taking time for two people to get to know each other. Yeah, so there is a little test of faith. So it's a it's an energy of someone, it's about testing this faith. Okay, being patient here. But I feel it's an energy of communication. Master, ma you're waiting for something. It looks like it's coming to fruition. But it has to do with a little bit of a test of faith with the Nine of Wands here. Yeah. It's letting the guard down, letting someone in, taking the time to get to know each other, and just being calm. It's about growing closer. So I see a passionate new beginning. Yeah, I do feel this is someone faithful. This is a faithful person. This is somebody, when they commit, they commit. Okay, so I like that. What I do is see a spark and attraction and a passionate start here. Really nice. A lot of passion. Oh, yeah. Emperor energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag energy. It's definitely fiery, but it can be anyone. It's generally an Aries energy. Could be Scorpio as well here. But yeah, it's just an emperor, someone who's mastered the elements of the kings, someone who knows what they want. So let's have a look. Actually, I'm going to do these other cards first. Tell me about this emperor. Yeah, eight of wands. Somebody pretty fast and spontaneous coming in, but it's balanced. I see communication. Now, I do see some of you possibly have moved on from something else or this person has moved on from someone. Probably someone who wasn't right for them. So like I say, better times ahead. Lessons learned. Tell me about fairness and balance. Yeah, see, it has to do with um, somebody, he, somebody here. There was a situation that wasn't successful. So the emperors in the energy have been there, done that. But they're also spontaneous. They want something to be successful. So it has to do with planning, preparing, hoping for the best. So I see fairness, balance, harmony. So you're, you, I feel like your love life, there's harmony in your, in your love life coming in. So it has to do with someone going after someone. <laughs> yeah. You betcha. They are successful. They are planning. Like I say, they're coming in, putting their best foot forward, hoping for the best. Yeah. So it's about committing to this path together. Yeah. So somebody who definitely knows what they want. Yeah, it's a king of wands energy. Now, it's just the energy of this person, a little Sag energy. So it's somebody who's maybe been free for a while. Okay. Probably gets a lot of people chasing them because they're successful. So like I say, this is someone I feel who's moved on from something, but I do feel they're ready for a passionate new beginning. So they're, they're very attractive, passionate. They're likely attracted to you as well, but this is how it's going to start a lot of passion. This person's got a lot of drive, ambition. They're very goal oriented. Yeah, it does look like they've ended something here. See, so somebody who is maybe waiting for something, but I feel the wait's over, a painful period in someone's life's over. So someone rising like the phoenix from the ashes, the sun is shining. See, it's things have calmed down, lessons being learned. You know, somebody who wants to get to know you, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, see, this is someone who's releasing things that no longer serve or somebody where, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. And now they're moving towards something they feel you know, is more faded. So really interesting, but it's an energy of mutual. Yeah. See, a test of faith. It's, it has to do with having faith in this path. 
Wow, yeah, so look at that. Friends and family, loyal friends. So it's a person who's loyal, I feel, to their friends and family. Yeah, very nice energy, actually. But it has to do with this person releasing things. They're going to let go of their ego a little bit here, too, because I do feel they're used to being chased because they're charming, attractive able and emperor energy but you can see how they're toning it down to the king of wands a little bit they're going to let go of their ego and pride <laughs> yeah this is someone that it, it's obvious they really want something to get going here they know what they need to do it's an emperor yeah they see happiness here happy home happy life but it's about putting themselves out there see being humble putting all those cups on the table just laying it on the line i do see a gathering of people here so this is someone's hopes and dreams and it has i do see an energy two cards of faith yeah very nice has to do with they feel they feel this there's something mutual but i see mutual friends people a gathering so we'll see what that's about tell me about the three of cups why is this here yeah, someone here seeing truth or having a little aha moment. So it has to do with someone, you know, it has, it, to me, it's like, yes. <laughs> There's some sort of yes. Something you're wanting, you've been waiting for. And it could be this person, maybe they've ended something. Sometimes it's a healing too, where someone's healed, a painful period in their life is over and they're ready for new. So let's have a look at that just to see what that was about. Because I do see somebody waiting here waiting for a situation that's coming, waiting for this person to offer you it or to heal or to put an end to a situation. Yeah, there's a reason to celebrate. So I do see a, someone building the foundation. So it has to do with committing. Commit, not necessarily marriage or commitment. It is somebody who does want commitment. They are somebody who wants committed relationships because I do feel they've left something behind that wasn't long term it wasn't successful i do feel they focus on financial success so they have a lot of pride they take great but they're planning and preparing so i see dressing for success taking pride in their appearance and things like that too but they, this is someone i feel who's going to try to impress you <laughs> yep they are yeah it has to do and i it could be something to do with their house and home if they're keeping you waiting they're probably focused on their house and home you know, something that's ended, clearing things up and out, you see. But it has to do with the star, their hopes and dreams. There's a lot of desire. They're hoping this is mutual, for one thing, that you really want to get to know them more. So this is somebody here definitely, you know, wanting to avoid any kind of a disaster here. So the whole point of avoiding a disaster is making sure that whatever this past energy is, this ten of uh, swords is over. Yeah, look at that. Somebody here could be releasing some people here too. Like I, I gotta be honest, they're generally faithful, loyal to their friends, but there's some sort of truth this person's seeing here. Like I say, it's a test of faith. They could be trying to find out if you are, you know, loyal or faithful, but I find like there's another, there's another energy of one more person here. And it's more than likely what they've left behind. But this person is in a hurry. They're generally fast and spontaneous. They like to talk yeah but it's also an energy of possibly maybe being a little overwhelmed i don't know but we're going to see here because i'm picking up on that ten of swords it just isn't clear what happened i mean it could have been the um somebody who ended a marriage uh, relationship here but i do see a reason to celebrate something you're waiting for this person building the foundation i don't know if they're building their house fixing their house they're up to something it has to do with um, being ready, but the need to cooperate and compromise compatibility, the things you have in common. So they're acknowledging something here. Yeah, the need to know more. They need to know more. That's what I feel. They need to know. They could be talking to people, finding out some truth. So I feel they're pretty happy with what they're hearing. That's for sure. But like I say, a passionate beginning. There's definitely an attraction. This person will probably speak that truth too. <laughs> So let's, yeah, they are thinking partnership here. You see, someone who's compatible. It's an energy of long term. It's to do with commitment. Feels like home. Someone who feels like home. Yeah, but I do feel this is someone who's successful. They, they're, they're very hands-on. They're not somebody who delegates and disappears. They're creative. They're very hands-on. They're always creating. They're very goal-oriented. But it's some kind of goal that they're trying to reach here. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. I think they're going to try to impress you with something here. 
You know, they're being a little cautious. They're cautiously optimistic. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little careful what they wish for, but it's a test of faith. Yeah. Very, very cautious. I, I feel this is someone who's dealt with somebody who maybe wasn't faithful or loyal because I feel they're actually a very loyal person. They're, I feel they're loyal. So, but it has to do with, I feel, going down this path here. Something I feel, you know, it's something that's worth waiting for, I feel, because I do see happiness here. You know, all the, all the energies of commitment. Yeah, this person, you know, they're a little cautious, a little careful what they wish for. See, this is somebody here has to do with faith, a test of faith. So I feel as though, I mean, there is somebody in the, they're in your social circle, but you may have mutual friends, people that you know. But yeah. But I'd say this is someone playing it a little bit safe here. Yeah, see the tower. So this is someone finding something out suddenly. It's going to be a shock, a surprise, something. But whatever it is, it's a happy shock and surprise. I think this person, like I feel, they're attracted to you. There's, you know, there's that passion, drive, ambition, creative energy. There's a spark. The fire's lit. So it could be someone telling someone to hurry up too. But it, this, I feel it's just where they already kind of know. You know, they are stable. They're grounding themselves. They are successful. They're planning and preparing. This is someone planning, preparing, getting themselves ready. Ooh, I see a passion, a new beginning. This person's very passionate. Now, this could be another person, a loyal friend, a faithful friend. Something here, this person may be finding out for them about you or vice versa. Or some of you have a couple people giving you attention. I really feel it's really about this faithful, loyal friend, a test of faith. Yeah, there it is, planting the seed. Nope, some of you got a couple things going on here. There's going to be some sudden shock, surprise, but I see sudden happiness. I mean, it could be this person too. Like I say, you know, the new beginning, getting ready to start something new. So it very well could be just coming in right, putting their best foot forward. This person's planning something. I, like I say, it looks like an invitation to start. It looks like it could be a, a, a gathering of friends, family, some sort of invitation. Yeah, there it is. Empress energy. This person knows a good thing when they see it. Yeah, someone who's just right. <laughs> and then, Oh, there's another card under. Oh, yeah, they see all the pop. This is someone who knows a good. It's funny because I said that right away. They know a good thing when they see it. Someone who's just right. See harmony, balance, things you have in common. There's something about this home, family, some sort of gathering. And it has to do with planting the seed. So I maybe you've already had a an opportunity, an invitation. But something happened. There was some kind of ending. It's painful. It's finished. It's like, I mean, this is somebody who rises like the phoenix from the ashes. And you can see it's an emperor. But there's the emperor there. So I don't know if you've got two emperor types coming in. Couple people, one may be your type, and one's just right, maybe one isn't for the feminine, but it's someone who sees opportunity. They're planning something, preparing. See, getting ready. They want everything to go just right. Tell me about this King of Wands. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? Oh yeah, you got someone who's a bit of a player here. Now one thing about this card, this is someone who often gets up into their head and they try to figure out, figure out if somebody has other options or some Libra energy. That's why I still feel some of you, it's just the same person. Okay, but I know you're all going to look at that as the player and it could be, but it's often someone who has a lot of people chasing them. They get a lot of attention. They're playing the field. They're looking for someone just right. You see, so you have to really, we know that seven of swords is often an energy of, I mean, it could be just making something right. Let me grab the other deck and see if the other card comes out. Um, tell me about the seven of swords. Yeah, see, so someone here checking things out, a whole new perspective, so a change of perspective here. Now, 
Like it's telling telling us too. There's two perspective of this cards. This is someone trying to figure something out, trying to figure something. Now I do see fixing a house, fixing a home, or someone trying to figure out if the feelings are mutual. Now it's often someone who goes about something sneaky. Now this person could feel there's something sneaky going on because it has to do with the test of faith. See that you got the seed being planted. It's solid. This is a commitment. So this person's trying to figure something out here. So it all isn't always what it seems with that. It's often a person who's just determined to win. So they might go about something in a sneaky way, but it could be talking to someone else, finding things about you so they come in right and do things right. So it could be all kinds of things. So like I say, it's showing us there's different perspectives to that card, but it's also someone who's pulling back and they're having an aha moment. They're having a moment. They're trying to figure something out. They feel someone else is being sneaky. See, it's not them. That's the thing. You see? Capricorn, stay in your Empress energy. Okay? Yeah. Let's have a new, let's have a look at the, the new perspective. Ooh, love that card when it comes out that way. Yeah, see, it's a crush. It's a longing for love, a crush. It's an energy of keeping things simple. But it's an energy of somebody here. No, I don't, I mean, it's somebody who's checking the situation out, longing for love. I see friends, family, child. See, this is somebody who's got some people around them, some friends. And they're going, aha. Someone's keeping something to themselves. I feel this person's got a friend who's keeping something or somebody wants. Oh, I see what it is. It has to do with the friendship. So somebody here is trying to figure out or has figured out that someone's keeping, wanting to keep you all for themselves. What's it trying to say? It's definitely something out of the ordinary. But it's a tower, epiphany, something sudden, a shock, surprise coming in out of the blue. You're not going to see this coming. But what's so interesting is the emperor's here. Now, we could have two emperors, but I, I feel like it has to do with this friend, friend of a friend. So it could be two people who know each other. So I feel there, it, it doesn't feel like competition, but someone's trying to figure out here. See, it's this two friends, childhood friends, some people who've known each other a long time. They're like family, soul family. But it has to do with the test of faith, whether someone's faithful. Because someone's, this person's having a massive epiphany, this emperor, that this is somebody wanting to keep you to themselves. Or they're just having that sudden realization here. But it's about figuring everything out. And I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to put my finger on this. I feel something's a little complicated. But it's about, like I say, it should be simple. It should be easy. So this is why I feel Capricorn really kind of watch. What, and it could be just like I say, I, mean, I feel we've got an empress. The start is something new. Some of you have options. You have choices. But it's who comes in right. But it's like both of them here. I don't know if there's competition between, but I'm seeing childhood friend, faithful friends, soul family connection. Tell me more about this. I, I got to figure this out because it, it's like I say, it's not always what it seems. Tell me about the seven of swords. See, this person feels somebody is playing them for a fool. Someone's up to something. And they're looking at this from every perspective, every angle, checking things out. And it could be just like I say, that this person, that King of Pentacles is keeping something from them where they want you all to themselves. Yeah, I tell me about that Nine of Swords. Why are Seven of Swords? Why is this here? Why is this here? Yeah, see, it's about figuring out dating and courting. It's this person figuring out how they feel, too. They're trying to figure out how someone feels. But I feel like they're, they have, there's someone in that social circle, someone they've known a long time, you know, maybe since childhood. There's some sort of checking things out, some sort of reminiscing, some kind of longing for love here.
Yeah, this is someone in their feelings. This person, I'm going to tell you, you got some love here. You got someone who's, I mean, it could be someone who's been holding a torch for a long time too. Or maybe they feel that way about you. Or maybe there was a some sort of reminiscing, a talk maybe some time ago where this person maybe was crushing on you. See, I feel this person, they think this other person, this faithful friend, it's a test of, test of whether they're faithful or not. They could be someone who's in a relationship, possibly, too. Because I don't, I, I'm going to tell you, I don't think that this King of Wands is the player. I feel like it's the other person. I do. I, and I feel they're looking at it, too. Because this is someone also, see, exploring their feelings. Someone exploring their feelings, figuring out how they feel. But they're And it could be this person trying to figure out how you feel. But you see, they're trying to figure out how someone else is feeling and what they're up to. So tell me about that Ace of Pentacles coming from the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, timing, making progress. So there's some kind of progress here. This person's looking for something. They're trying to figure something out. It could be someone who's had a crush and been holding a torch on you for a long time. It could have been something said a long time ago. Did you date this person in the past? Did you date one of these two people? <laughs> Capricorn, what's happening here? Oh, I, no, I mean, this is the moon energy. There's definitely confusion. You know, this is going to be complicated. They're trying. It is complicated, but I see timing one to two weeks here. Something's going to happen here. Someone's planning, weighing the pros and the cons, planning something to execute it. They're planning the execution. Yeah, they're going to do this. And I feel we have an empress just kind of waiting. I mean, there's a, a, a physical attraction. I wonder if this is somebody who's been holding a torch. Now, if you dated this person or this person, one of them is holding a torch, maybe even both. But, ooh, Capricorn, what have you got going on? This is exciting. And I can't quite put my, yeah, see, both wanting to date you. Did you date this person? Both of these people when you were young or somebody wanted to date someone and didn't? Because there's a torch being held for the queen, the, the empress here. Ooh. You're, you're not going to see this coming. Yeah, you got a king of swords. Someone's doing some thinking, mind over matter. So there is truth. Somebody here is going to speak truth. So there's some kind of truth. So I wouldn't worry about it. There's the truth. Yeah, I think you've got this, this person who's been... It was a crush some time ago, someone holding a, a torch. They're trying to figure, and it could be where they, they talk to someone else to figure out how you feel because you're in that social circle possibly. But if you dated both of these people and one of them, one of them's definitely, I mean, there's some love here with that King of Cups. But it's, it's where it should be easy. It should be simple. You see, that's what that Six of Cups is telling me. It should be simple. It shouldn't be complicated. So very interesting. Some of you just have a choice. Something here is going to be easy. It's going to be simple. The One of these people is a player. In fact, I wouldn't doubt if you got two people. Because you, know, you got two emperors here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, let's have a look at justice. Ooh, Hierophant. Traditions, habits, the way someone conducts themselves. Morals, values, faith. Somebody who's faithful, they speak truth. Okay, someone with integrity, it has to do with integrity. One of these people, I mean, they both may, but like I say, we have someone here who's keeping something to themselves or they want to keep you to themselves. But I also feel someone's a little full of themselves too here. Now there's something about these two people. They know each other. They're in the circle. I feel like, you know, the mutual friends, but it has to do with someone's lifestyle habits, the way they conduct themselves. It has to do with faith. See, harmony, someone who's just right, a faithful person. Someone here is feeling confident about a decision they're about to make by putting that best foot forward. So looks like there's some choices here. Yeah, look at the sun wanting to come out, radiant energy, high vibrational. See, things are clearing up here. Yeah, wow, yeah. And then I do see another, another energy, one month or the next full moon. Illuminated subconscious. So the next full moon or a month from now. Wow. Yeah, it looks like you got a couple things going on. And I do feel they know each other. Yeah, also someone seizing the day, seizing the opportunity, taking the opportunity that's presented. So it has to do with the test of faith. 
loyalty, faithful friends. But it looks like somebody here is going to make some sort of a commitment here to go down this path. But there is that other person in the equation here. I just can't quite put my finger on it. To me, it just really, really looks like they want to keep you all to themselves. Somebody here wants to get you alone. Now, I wonder if there's somebody here you were talking to. Was there some kind of gathering or uh, event or something? Someone's home, a, a get together where somebody was taking up someone, all giving all their attention, giving you a lot of attention. I have a feeling you got a person who's jealous here. Uh huh. It, it, and all isn't what it seems either. This is the thing. It's probably just. See, someone was giving someone all their attention or giving you giving you a lot of attention. So that's why I feel this person's kind of thinking about this. But I feel there's going to be truth regardless. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, eye on the eagle rising above the fray. So this is someone being the bigger person, rising above the fray, but they got their eye on the prize here. I am telling you, this is kind of exciting. I mean, that tower here is going to be a shock surprise when you hear the truth. You hear some kind of truth here, but it's good because they're seizing the day. This is someone taking decisive action. Things are going to get cleared up. But yeah, there's definitely that moon energy confusion, uh, things being comp. It shouldn't be complicated. Okay, it shouldn't be so complicated. It should be easy. So the person you connect with, it should come in. It should just flow. It should be easy. Okay, that's what I feel like it's trying to tell you. If somebody comes in and you find it's really complicated, it's confusing, that's where you need to make the choice. But this person's coming in to seize the day. They're in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. So, whoops, another card coming out. Yep, luck and right timing. It's all about good luck and right timing. Someone's planning and preparing to... Um, get something going here before the other person so i'm surprised the five of want the competition come but that's why i feel it's not what it seems it's just somebody talking communicating giving you a lot of attention and it's somebody who's married already in a relationship so this person's kind of going what are they holding a torch because maybe they have you they both had crushes on you when you were younger or something here or they're just kind of reminiscing about it so pretty interesting. There's a torch being held. Maybe it's someone real thinking that you have a torch for them too. And they're looking at it, whoever they are. I mean, I have to chuckle a little bit because I feel this person rising above the fray, trying to avoid, you know, any problems here. See, being the bigger person, but they so have their eye on it. See, it's a comforting connection. So it's, it's an energy of this person looking at this. Yeah, see, it's energy of wish granted. If you if this is something you want, you're about to get what you want. But someone here needs to release something that no longer serves. So something here isn't meant to be. And I feel if there's someone who was talking to you a lot, giving you attention, or you were giving them attention, like I say, there could be just a little jealousy here. Can I say this? Someone's holding a torch here. This is really interesting. It's exciting and I do that tower is telling me this is going to be exciting good luck and right timing you're getting something you want yeah see someone's releasing the, the the way they see it the way they believe something to be the way they perceive it you see all isn't what it seems so it's releasing limitless beliefs so somebody here who can't stop thinking about you in this situation but they're going to release it belief how they perceive this See, it's a person feeling strong, confident, visible force. So it has to do with someone taking that decisive action. And I see a strong connection. And this person's inner strength. Wow. Yeah, see a shift in energy. This is someone, it's, it's, a, it's a shift. It's somebody here who's, you know, thinking someone's being sneaky. They're up to something here, maybe cutting in on their territory, but it's not what it seems. Yeah. I don't know what exactly why this it's like two people talking, giving each other attention, but someone's married. And I don't feel like they're actually being a player. So, I mean, it's possible for some of you, you've dealt with someone like this and you have to make a choice. It has to do with the shift in energy. So down here is someone not playing by the rules. There's a shift of energy. Someone is actually playing by the rules. You see, some sort of shock surprise. You see someone holding flowers behind their back. So it all isn't what it seems regardless. Crazy. 
Yeah, so there's timing there. Two weeks, next full moon or a month. There should be this person reaching out. Yeah, it says October. So, yeah, on a sunny day. So there you go for some of you. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, so it looks, and, the, and it's funny too, because I seen the same kind of energy in another reading. It was different timing, but uh, someone releasing. See, someone's releasing some. I wouldn't doubt if someone lets go of a friendship because of this too, but I feel it's all going to be okay. Okay? Because I, I see longing for love, keeping things kind of simple. And I'll figure whatever this out, it, it's really something simple. It's not going to be a big deal. So, wow. Yeah, it looks like you, if you were, if, if it is someone you went to school with at some point and you had two people crushing on you, maybe you dated one of them and the other person, you know, something may have happened here or somebody was maybe a little bit of a player. <laughs> but there's a youthful energy. But it's a, there's someone here longing for love. I mean, they cannot stop thinking about you. Yeah, they I really do. And I feel like they're going to you're going to if you if this is something you're wanting with the Empress energy, yeah, they're going to be bold and they're going to take the next step. They're planning something and it's going to come to fruition. But it's with the Empress. Just be still. OK, maybe you're letting somebody know that you're open to date. OK, with the Empress, the feminine, are you letting someone know that you're open to date, but it's about justice and balance, someone coming in just right. See, happiness, emotional fulfillment, su some sudden happiness or an invitation to a gathering. But someone's looking at all the possibilities. They, like I say, they know a good thing when they see it, but some of you may have, they're looking to see if you have options. And it could be just something that was said, communicated with that sword energy. So, yeah, but do, you know, pay attention, look before you leap all that energy. But, yeah, it's going to come to fruition here. Wish you the best. Do take care, and we'll see you soon.